Have you wondered what's up with actress Gwyneth Paltrow these days? It seems people are hating her once again, and it seems that it's pretty bad. But what exactly did she do? It's actually about what she said that's upsetting people. Gwyneth Paltrow had been diagnosed with COVID-19 and had felt incredibly fatigued. Naturally, she wanted to seek ways to help her deal with the symptoms. She had gotten in touch with a functional medicine practitioner who suggested she eat a plant-based and keto diet. In addition to the diet, the actress also fasted at times and spent time in infrared saunas. She claimed these methods helped treat her symptoms, and she shared this information on her site Goop, and that's when the outrage began. Gwyneth received criticism for posting misinformation on Goop. The website shares content related to beauty, wellness, and lifestyle, and it was on this website she shared what she did to treat her COVID-19 symptoms. Unfortunately, some people saw this as an irresponsible act. After all, there's no general consensus her methods are indeed a treatment for COVID-19 symptoms. One person who got very upset was Professor Stephen Powis, the National Medical Director of England's National Health Service. He felt it was irresponsible for someone as influential as Gwyneth Paltrow to spread false information. He felt celebrities have a duty of responsibility to share the real science to their fans. Professor Powis told the BBC, In the last few days, I see Gwyneth Paltrow as unfortunately suffering from the effects of COVID. We wish her well, but some of the solutions she's recommending are really not the solutions we'd recommend in the NHS. Sadly for Gwyneth Paltrow, this isn't the first time she's received flack for her words and actions. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. And stay tuned for why Gwyneth Paltrow has received so much flack in recent years. In 1999, Gwyneth won an Oscar for her performance in the film Shakespeare in Love. Many people felt the award was unjustified and that Kate Blanchett or Fernanda Montenegro were more deserving of the award that year. Though it's been over 20 years, it seems as if people can't move on with their lives and still feel upset about the Oscar. Many people also felt her acceptance speech showed fake sentimentality, and this has led to people questioning her genuineness. So, what else led Gwyneth Paltrow to have a falling out with the public? Early on in her career, she began dating actor Brad Pitt. They met as co-stars for the thriller film Seven and started dating shortly after. In fact, they later got engaged, but this didn't last long. She left Brad Pitt and later stated, My kind of internal stuff really tripped up that whole relationship, and I felt really responsible, and also like I was the architect of my own misery. I just made a big mess out of it. This naturally made her an unpopular figure. After all, she had broken off an engagement, and not just with anyone, with Brad Pitt. In the late 90s, she began dating actor Ben Affleck. He was now a big star after his work on the film Goodwill Hunting. During their relationship, she often made statements that came off as rude and insulting to him. These included her saying that his perfect woman was any sort of stripper at scores, as well as stating she felt Affleck had a different set of values as she did. This latter remark also rubbed people the wrong way. It gave the impression she had a sense of snobbery and a bloated opinion of herself. The couple broke up in 2000. Later on, she dated actors Luke Wilson and Scott Speedman. Eventually, she settled down and married Chris Martin, frontman for the band Coldplay. Even with this relationship, she described the perception of their union as being bland. She likened it to rice cakes with a side of lettuce. She seems to have a reputation for making remarks that upset people or cause them to get outraged. For example, she gave an interview with NY Rock in 2001 where she stated, Beauty fades. I just turned 29, so I probably don't have that many good years left in me. In a 2012 interview with British talk show host Jonathan Ross, she stated, I'd rather smoke crack than eat cheese from a tin. She also once said, I am who I am. I can't pretend to be someone who makes $25,000 a year. This especially seems to have upset some people who felt this was condescending and a snobbish statement to make. But what else has she done? She's long been friends with Jay-Z and Beyonce. Needless to say, the rapper and singer are one of the entertainment industry's most famous power couples. She's often talked about her relationship with the couple, and many people have interpreted this as a form of name dropping. But let's return to Goop. It was launched in 2008 as a newsletter with advice on how to live better. These kind of endeavors are always hit or miss with celebrities. Sometimes they're lauded for providing advice or endorsements. Other times they're vehemently chastised by the public. Goop has garnered a large audience and has many fans, so she must be doing something right. Nevertheless, you can never please everyone, and some of her content, including the COVID-19 treatment, has upset some people. 
Goop has a holiday gift guide in which they've suggested buying a $120 toothpaste and a yurt, of all things, costing $8,300. The website's product recommendations have also been controversial, beyond the cost. Goop promoted a set of jade eggs that were intended to be inserted into the vagina. The purpose of these jade eggs was allegedly to improve one's sex life and even improve one's kidney strength. These claims were refuted by doctors, most notably by gynecologist Jen Gunter. In another incident, the website promoted a set of Body Vibe stickers. The stickers were claimed to have been made from NASA spacesuit material. It was stated these stickers would help rebalance the energy frequency in our bodies. This drew the ire of NASA representatives, with one stating the claims were a load of BS. It seems that much of the ire toward Gwyneth Paltrow is because she seems to present herself as elitist without even realizing it. In an interview with CNN Money, she stated she felt she was incredibly close to the common woman. But once again, this predictably upset some people. After all, she's an Oscar-winning actress who earns millions of dollars, runs a successful website, and is a major celebrity. That's as far from common as you can get. Perhaps one of her biggest blunders is when she made statements that seemed critical of America. She spends time in England and allegedly told a Portuguese newspaper, I love the English lifestyle. It's not as capitalistic as America. People don't talk about work and money. They talk about interesting things at dinner. The British are much more intelligent and civilized than the Americans. No one knows if this is what she genuinely said or if there was an error in translation, as she claims. Nevertheless, people will believe that it was genuine, and now there's more hate towards her for that. So it seems like no matter what, Gwyneth Paltrow can't seem to get a break from relentless criticism. But is this outrage justified, or is it just childish on the part of her critics? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.